Hello there, I'm Philip Gooden. I'm an author. I write fiction and non-fiction, and my latest book is May We Borrow Your Language. What makes swear words offensive uh, is that people are ready to be offended by them. It's almost as if society as a whole takes a kind of conscious or actually unconscious decision to say this word is taboo, while other words are not offensive. And things change actually quite quickly. If you think back to 30 or 40 years ago, um, the kind of language that you can fairly regularly hear on television now, and certainly you know in the cinema and, and, and maybe on the radio as well, um, is, is quite standard. It's, it's available and accessible to, to pretty well anybody. But there would have been a fantastic fuss about some of these terms um, three or four decades back. It's almost as if in language that there, there has to be a part of language which is a kind of rather dark and sinister area where people are wary about treading but at the same time they want to go there or many people want to go there. One word that was considered really offensive a hundred years ago uh, was the word bloody um, and when the playwright George Bernard Shaw used it I think in 1913 at the premiere of uh, Pygmalion the audience reaction was hysterical and Bernard Shaw wrote to a friend he, that he thought the performance would have to be stopped because the audience was so out of control. And this was on the single word bloody. I think Eliza Doolittle says, uh, not bloody likely. And the audience kind of collapsed. Well, can you imagine anybody doing that now or even raising an eyebrow, eyebrow at the word bloody? In fact, you, you don't hear it much now.